What is going on people? Welcome to episode 16 of the Barnsley Career Mode here on FIFA 22. If you are looking forward to these playoffs, then make sure that you pop a like on there for me. Subscribe to the channel as well. And well, this is it. This is crunch time. We are at a crucial point of the season. Of course, if you aren't up to date with what happened in the final few episodes, make sure you go and watch those first, of course. But... This is how the season ended. So after being top of the table for the majority of the season, we threw it away towards the end. And well, we ended up finishing fourth, nine points off of eventual champions Sheffield United, seven points off of Fulham. And we missed out on third as well. Birmingham pipped us to that. So we finish in fourth and we take on Forest in these playoff semi-finals, just like we did in the first season of FIFA 21. We take on Forest in the playoff semi-finals. And if we manage to get through... A Wembley date awaits us against either Birmingham or Reading. So, two massive games. It is the day after I recorded all of the last four episodes or something. But as you can imagine, I've been wanting to play these games for, you know, well, ever since we got here, I've been wanting to play. I couldn't play last night, so I'm just getting on with it now. I'm excited to play, a little bit nervous, but hopefully we can pick up the right results and book a trip to Wembley. So without any further ado, let's begin the playoffs. This is the Forest starting 11 then for the first leg at the county ground. It's the city ground, actually. Wolfath in goal, Jenkinson, Eli, McKenna and Lowe as their back four. Colback and Ajada in the middle, Lolly on the right, Cavalli on the left and Alex Mighton in behind Rafa Silva for them. Of course, us, well... Most like the last few games, completely unchanged. We are sticking with the narrow front three. It seems to have paid well for us when we play well. It seems to do well. So Collins in goal, back five. Britton, Helic, Anderson, Pavlovic in styles. Ramsey and Benson in the middle. And a front three of Woodrow, Uler and championship top goal scorer with 30 goals. Aaron, Leia, Isaka. Hopefully he could come up with a big performance today. Tries to get it in. Anderson is there to get a simple head away. And Ramsey can come forward with the ball. The ball to Woodrow is there. Into Uler now. Isaac has made the run, but not really able to use him. Styles. There's an early ball there. Isaac can bring it down his chest. Oh, and he's tried to hit it on the half volley, but he just can't get over it in the end. Not really troubling Horvath. And knocking it about nicely. Oh, Forrest. To Jenkinson. Lolly is onside. Pavlovic needs to get there. Mighton beats him to it. But luckily, it's straight down the throat of Brad Collins. Oh. And Forrest looking to lead the break, although Mighton gives the ball away. Helic can bring that one away. Oh, it's a nice turn. Romobulaire has the strike. And he forces the save from Horvath the first time the Forest keeper has been called into action in the game. It's a solid strike from Romobulaire. But unfortunately, straight at the keeper, Benson, with the corner. Oh, Styles, can he get on the end of it? Not quite. Pavlovic will just about hold this one up, play it out towards Styles. We'll come back, try and get a ball in if we can. And it's fallen to Josh Benson. Hits it on the half volley. Oh, and Horvath makes the save, but it fought rebounds. And luckily, there's a Forest player right on his toes that's able to get it away. And Forest actually... Bring it out really nicely. And Lolly is on this right-hand side. Inside. But gives it away. Oh, it's a nice little dummy. And he sold the defender. Can he give it one more? He can. Corley Woodrow is there. Corley. Oh, he has the strike. And again, Horvath pushes it round the post. We are creating some good chances. A lot of pressure on this Forest goal. Oh, my word. Carvalho was very calm in bringing that one down in his own area. Pavlovich finds Woodrow. We'll try and bend this one. And again, Horvath will not be beaten. He knows how important this game is. And he's doing his utmost to try and keep the score level. Benson we will try and get another ball in if we can. Aim through there this time. His header, I think it sort of come off his shoulder really. 
Well, the pass forward, it looked like it was going to be intercepted by one of our players, but the half-time whistle does go, and well, it has been Barnsley dominance. As you can see in the other game, Reading take the lead at half-time over Birmingham, but it's been all us so far in this game, and we need to make one of these chances pay. And we can manage to get this one away, Ramsey into Woodrow. It's actually a good ball to be fair. And the Forest defence are backing off. We'll wait for Styles to hit the overlap. I was aim I even pushed the analogue stick up, but uh unfortunately well oh, Helig does really well to intercept. Unfortunately, uh didn't quite pan off for us. Benson though have a strike from distance. Well first effort of the second half forces a save from Horvath. Couple of changes for us. Morris coming on for Hilaire and Valakari on for Benson. See if we can get a decent ball in. Asaka with the corner. Oh. And Helic is the one that picks it up. Goes to the effort. Normally I wouldn't shoot from there with the centre half, but he managed to work himself in the area, so I thought, why not? Silva. So, Zinkanago Styles does well. And there goes the full time whistle. It's 0-0 in the first leg of the Championship Playoff semi-final. But not for the want of trying. I can't remember Forrest having a shot, to be honest. But uh, we certainly peppered their goal. But that man, Ethan Horvath, they had one shot, apparently. We had eight. But, uh, yeah, that man, Ethan Horvath, has kept his side in this game. Reading win 2-1 in the first leg. But it is at home, so they do have to travel to St Andrews. With a one goal margin. So our line up then for the second leg. No change as you can imagine. The players fit enough to continue. So that is exactly what they will do. Hopefully they can put us through to the playoff final. And a trip to Wembley. This the Forest lineup then. Horvath in goal. Spence, Eli, McKenna and Lowe at the back. Ayeda and Zinkenagel. In the centre, Johnson, Carvalho, Maiton and Lyle Taylor up front for them. So a few changes. I'm thinking maybe four players coming in for this game. But um, yeah, we we know we know the job. Regardless of who's playing for Forest, we know what we have to do. We have to win this game if we want to play in the Premier League next season. The fact that Forest are sort of more defensively set and harder to break down is making me more nervous for this game. Because I feel like with how defensively solid they were, or are, um, oh, go on, Hiller. Yeah, with how defensive solid they seem to be, although Woodrow, get in there, come on, boys. It's the man in form, 10 minutes to go before half-time. It's opened up and we've finally been able to manage to beat Horvath. That is near post. A lovely little ball inside from Hilaire. Saw the space that Woodrow was in. And there was only really one place that Woodrow could put that ball. And he's found the exact spot. And I feel like over the two legs, you'd have to say that is a deserved lead. Cut back inside. Woodrow. Isaka. Oh, he tries to place it. Shot's blocked. And there goes the half-time whistle. Well, we were in front. That's the most important thing. We finally found a breakthrough. Reading leading at 2-1 at half-time. So it's 4-2 on aggregate in that game. Reading have got 45 minutes to get a couple of goals to force it to extra time. Otherwise, as it stands, we will be playing Reading in the playoff final. But still, 45 minutes, a lot can happen. So I'm not counting my chickens just yet. Low on the overlap, inside to Mighton, Taylor into the area. As a strike from Mighton, with Collins equal to it. Fairly comfortable, you'd say, for the Barnsley keeper. Get this one away, can we? Anderson is there. Saker tries to get on the end of it. Brennan Johnson, Taylor, Johnson. That was close. Someone needs to get out to Mighton. Just forcing back a bit. Ball out wide to Zinkanagel. Oh, he's, now, oh, he's danced past a couple. Zinkanagel with a strike. Oh, my God. He's rattled the post. Lolly. Oh. Bloody hell, the fast passing. I can't deal with it. Luckily, they've misplaced one of them. I was quite concerned then. Oh, and it's a lovely ball. 
and Hoseki could be away. He's got a man for company. Is he going to get past him? No, the defender gets back at him well, to be fair. Referee has come straight through the back of him there. It could well be a red card. And it is. Scott McKenna has lost his head. And with less than 10 minutes to go, Forrest down to 10 men. Could have a go from here, you know. Straight out of the throat of, uh, of Ethan Horvath. But yeah, less than 10 minutes, Forrest down to 10. Their, their task has just been made a fair bit harder, it must be said. Woodrow's done really well. Oh, and he's found a ball to Obulaire. And he finds the ball across to Asaka and that sealed it. We are going to Wembley. Forrest has just completely lost their heads. The fans are on the pitch celebrating. The subs are over. Is the manager going to be there? Am I going to come in? No, oh, it doesn't look like it. Collins is absolutely loving it. He knows what it means. And yes, it's sweaty, but it confirms the result. I mean, I've got no, no problem with doing that. A lovely ball from Woodrow, well aware of what's going on around him. Hilaire's made the run as well. And I say, cut. <clears throat> if there was ever going to be one man that was in on the promotion party, it was going to be him. Pumped into the area. Pavlovich is there. I say, cut. Brings the ball down well. Knocks over a Jada in the process. And we'll just run this one into the corner. Uh, actually, no. Let's maybe go for a third. Woodrow. He sealed it. It's three. But there goes the final whistle. And the crowd, understandably, are thoroughly, thoroughly pleased. And, well, we have booked our place at Wembley. A player final in the first season again with Barnsley. Last time, of course, we played Derby County, who in this save have been relegated. But in... This universe, <clears throat> it looks like it is going to be, well, barring a, a pretty miraculous turnaround, it looks like it is going to be Reading. You see the 3-1 win, 5-2 on aggregate. So there we go. What a mouth-watering tie that is for me. Oh, God. I don't know how I feel about that, but... Reading away, and that is going to be our next episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this one. If you have, pop a like on there for me, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.